Brintelix, Vortioxetine, is indicated for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adults. The efficacy of Brintelix was established in six short-term, six to eight-week studies and one long-term, 24 to 64-week maintenance study. Major depressive disorder is characterized by clinically significant distress or impairment in social, occupational, or other important areas of functioning. Major depressive disorder involves a constellation of symptoms, broadly falling into emotional, physical, and cognitive categories. Symptoms include depressed mood, loss of interest or pleasure, significant changes in weight or appetite, insomnia or hypersomnia, psychomotor agitation or retardation, fatigue or loss of energy, feelings of worthlessness or guilt, diminished ability to think or concentrate, or indecisiveness and suicidal ideation. In a 13-year population-based study in people with major depressive disorder, the diagnostic symptoms of MDD were reported with varying prevalence during major depressive episodes. Recognizing their heritage and mental health, scientists at Lundbeck discovered vortioxetine, a molecule for the treatment of depression. Lundbeck and Takeda are now co-developing the therapy, embarking together on the Brintelix journey. Brintelix has multiple pharmacological activities. The mechanism of the antidepressant effect of vortioxetine is not fully understood, but it's thought to be related to its enhancement of serotonergic activity in the CNS through inhibition of the reuptake of serotonin. It also has several other activities, including 5-HT3 receptor antagonism and 5-HT1A receptor agonism. The contribution of these activities to vortioxetine's antidepressant effect has not been established. Vortioxetine potently and selectively inhibits reuptake of serotonin, binding with high affinity to the human serotonin transporter, but not to the norepinephrine or dopamine transporters. Vortioxetine also binds to 5-HT7, 5-HT1D, and 5-HT1B receptors. The molecule is a receptor agonist at 5-HT1A, a receptor antagonist at 5-HT3, 5-HT1D, and 5-HT7, and a receptor partial agonist at 5-HT1B. The clinical relevance of this is unknown. Consider helping appropriate patients with major depressive disorder to start their journey with Brintelix. Brintelix is indicated for the treatment of major depressive disorder in adults. Important safety information. Warning, suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Antidepressants increase the risk of suicidal thoughts and behavior in children, adolescents, and young adults in short-term studies. These studies did not show an increase in the risk of suicidal thoughts and behavior with antidepressant use in patients over age 24. There was a trend toward reduced risk with antidepressant use in patients aged 65 and older. In patients of all ages who are started on antidepressant therapy, monitor closely for worsening and for emergence of suicidal thoughts and behaviors. Advise families and caregivers of the need for close observation and communication with the prescriber. Brintelix has not been evaluated for use in pediatric patients. Contraindications, hypersensitivity. Hypersensitivity to vortioxetine or any components of the Brintelix formulation. Angioedema has been reported in patients treated with Brintelix. Monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, due to an increased risk of serotonin syndrome, do not use MAOIs intended to treat psychiatric disorders with Brintelix or within 21 days of stopping treatment with Brintelix. Do not use Brintelix within 14 days of stopping an MAOI intended to treat psychiatric disorders. Do not start Brintelix in a patient who is being treated with linezolid or intravenous methylene blue. Warnings and precautions. Clinical worsening and suicide risk. 
All patients being treated with antidepressants for any indication should be monitored appropriately and observed closely for clinical worsening, suicidality, and unusual changes in behavior, especially during the initial few months of a course of drug therapy or at times of dose changes, either increases or decreases. Consideration should be given to changing the therapeutic regimen, including possibly discontinuing the medication in patients whose depression is persistently worse or who are experiencing emergent suicidality or symptoms that might be precursors to worsening depression or suicidality, anxiety, agitation, panic attacks, insomnia, irritability, hostility, aggressiveness, impulsivity, akathisia, hypomania, and mania. Especially if these symptoms are severe, abrupt in onset, or were not part of the patient's presenting symptoms. Families and caregivers of patients being treated with antidepressants for MDD or other indications, both psychiatric and non-psychiatric, should be alerted about the need to monitor patients daily. Serotonin syndrome. The development of a potentially life-threatening serotonin syndrome has been reported with serotonergic antidepressants, SNRIs, SSRIs, and others, including Brintelix, when used alone, but more often when used concomitantly with other serotonergic drugs, including triptans, tricyclic antidepressants, fentanyl, lithium, tramadol, tryptophan, buspirin, and St. John's wort, and with drugs that impair metabolism of serotonin, in particular MAOIs, both those intended to treat psychiatric disorders and also others such as linezolid and intravenous methylene blue. Serotonin syndrome symptoms may include mental status changes, e.g. agitation, hallucinations, delirium, and coma, autonomic instability, e.g. tachycardia, labile blood pressure, dizziness, diaphoresis, flushing, hypothermia, neuromuscular symptoms, e.g. tremor, rigidity, myoclonus, hyperreflexia, incoordination, seizures and or gastrointestinal symptoms, e.g. nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. If such symptoms occur, discontinue Brintelex and any concomitant serotonergic agents and initiate supportive symptomatic treatment. If concomitant use of Brintelex is clinically warranted, Patients should be made aware of and monitored for potential increased risk for serotonin syndrome, particularly during treatment, initiation, and dose increases. Abnormal bleeding. Treatment with serotonergic antidepressants, SSRIs, SNRIs, and others may increase the risk of abnormal bleeding. Patients should be cautioned about the increased risk of bleeding when Brintelix is co-administered with NSAIDs, aspirin, or other drugs that affect coagulation. Activation of mania hypomania. Activation of mania hypomania can occur with antidepressant treatment. Prior to initiating treatment with an antidepressant, screen patients for bipolar disorder. As with all antidepressants, use Brintelex cautiously in patients with a history or family history of bipolar disorder, mania, or hypomania. Angle closure glaucoma. The pupillary dilation that occurs following use of many antidepressant drugs, including Brintelix, may trigger an angle closure attack in a patient with anatomically narrow angles who does not have a patent iridectomy. Hyponatremia. Hyponatremia has occurred as a result of serotonergic drugs and in many cases appears to be the result of the syndrome of inappropriate antidiuretic hormone secretion, SIADH. Elderly patients and patients taking diuretics or who are otherwise volume depleted can be at greater risk. More severe or acute cases have included hallucination, syncope, seizure, coma, respiratory arrest, and death. Discontinue Brintelex in patients with symptomatic hyponatremia and initiate appropriate medical intervention. Adverse reactions. The most commonly observed adverse reactions for Brintelex in six to eight week placebo controlled studies, incidence greater than or equal to 5% and at least twice the rate of placebo were by dose, five milligrams, 10 milligrams, 15 milligrams, 20 milligrams versus placebo, nausea, 
versus 9%. Constipation, 3%, 5%, 6%, 6% versus 3%. And vomiting, 3%, 5%, 6%, 6% versus 1%. Drug interactions. Concomitant administration of Brintelix and strong CYP2D6 inhibitors or strong CYP inducers may require a dose adjustment of Brintelix.